Ladies and gentlemen, for the last three hours you've been listening to Red Ginger taking over the Red Room. What a belter of a, of a mix there, Astrid Fox. Fantastic, fantastic. Awesome to hear some of your own productions in there. If you want to hear, tell us about some of them. Um, I thought you'd never ask, but I was also wondering why you didn't do any of the scatting. Oh, that, you see, I don't know. She asks the tough questions, oh, this one. Um, <laughs> she does, she does. She I mean, does. Yeah, she, I mean, she, she, she'll take you off your freaking guard like, like, it's, <laughs> like it's water off a duck's back. I'm under pressure more, more than what you think here in this red room. You guys can't see how many females there are. And then just me and Scott in here. <laughs> and, uh, two boys here, two boys, only two Is boys. Is there a right number? I was just wondering <laughs> if there are any listeners that are listening, if they would maybe message in if they want us to upload a photo of you dancing to drum and bass. <laughs> Oh. Well, at least the photograph is just still. You actually can't see the movements. It wouldn't be so bad a video. I'm not sure if I'll allow that. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so my two tracks I started with, you would have heard the sample of the didgeridoo. Yep. So that's our family friend, Cody Oakley. So he's traditional custodian of country. Um, and I basically just recorded him playing the didge like on a microphone um, through my decks. And then I like just added the bass to it and I just like had some keys and I was just like jingling the keys and that was like sort of the texture sound and then um, I uploaded it onto Triple J and then um, yeah randomly one day all my friends are calling me they're like you're on the radio and I think that they're gonna call me today because I'm on the radio with you too. <laughs> Fantastic you're, you're very you're, you're very good with technology I'll give you that. <laughs> She's awesome. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen you. You had the VR headset on here. It was, you had the live stream in it. It was awesome. very, very impressive, actually. It's cool. And really, really did cool. you want to tell the listeners that you also um, entered their metaverse and had a little mix while you were playing? Well, I did. I tried. I tried. I felt my age, actually. I couldn't. I put the VR headset on. Yeah. It's, uh, there's, there's a lot going on. It's, uh, we should have had it live recorded, actually. It was, uh, it was really, really impressive. And um, yeah, tell you what, I'm going to be tired after this. Uh, I, do, I don't usually sleep. But, uh. <laughs> way. Um, we plumb, we plumb wore him out. Yeah. We tucked him out. Fantastic. But shout outs to Terry Waits as well, because Terry Waits has basically sold um, a track pack to Tribe Exile, which are the virtual reality Pioneer USA um, app. And so when anyone in the world buys the app, Terry Waits, who's from Perth, obviously, well, he's you know, British, um, they're all of his tunes. But yeah, I'm like a huge advocate for Australian music and like Perth artists. Um, and so sometimes like the songs are like hell out of key, <laughs> but I rather like just give them airtime, even when they're like really hard to mix. And it would be easier for me to like do a mixtape and mix it all in key, but I'd rather just um, promote like Perth producers. So I'd just name a few quickly off the top Please of do. my head. So Please do. Um, there was, um, ready or not, they're not from Perth, obviously the Fugees, I love though. Um, but then after that was Sammy the Sinner, so she's just like this young chick from Bunbury and she lives in Perth, um, and that tune's called Back To You. She's just released another tune called Malfunction. Um, she's signed to Shock One's label. She's also running um, Euphoria Productions, so she's a busy gal, um, and she's promoting diversity in the arts and culture scene in Perth. So I love her. I always try to play her music whenever I can. Um, and then the next one was Echo and Sidetrack. So um, they're just two battlers, like two brothers that have been like hard at the grind for a very long time. And so it's been really cool in the last probably three months, like seeing how much of a breakthrough they've had, like drum and bass all stars shared their video um, of a mix that they did in New Zealand. And yeah, like that video went really viral and like some of their songs are just really blowing up at the moment. Yeah. So that was Combat VIP. Um, and then Jace, that was like the hell jungly, like scatty sort of tune. And like, yeah, that one's like probably harder to dance to even for me. So you probably have no, ch no chance. <laughs> but um, Jace actually, well, I've heard his feelings. I smell a Jace. challenge there. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard his feelings, but the next um, wild child gig, me and Aaron are actually gonna have a dance off, so on the stage, so that'll be funny. In you not believe it, good luck Aaron. In our camps. <laughs> but you see, you're on my home turf. Yeah. So how's, you know, how's that gonna go? Because uh, me and Aaron are both um, like dual citizens, we're both Irish and Aussie. But yeah, so Jace has just been signed to Metalheads, which is massive for someone in Perth to get signed to a huge UK label. Um, 
so I was really impressed. That song, um, the really scattier one, Jace. Um, the next one was Diminish, who um, some people would know him like he's an MC. He MCs for all the Perp drum and bass gigs. And he's the name's Dave Latte, and he's just like the hell suave, nice guy at every gig. So he basically now he's MCing and he's also producing. And so this song I really loved, and so I gave it a little bump to my friends um, in the UK and I sent it relentlessly to Laurie Charlesworth who is, um, she runs Drum and Bass Radio UK which has like the biggest, you know, listenership in the world for Drum and Bass and she actually played their song on that um, show so that song has had a lot of traction. I've also sent her some of Sammy's songs so it's been great being able to get them airtime on like very well known and loved podcasts. Um, but yeah, Chloe Payne is the vocalist and she's also an MC in Perth who I love. Um, and then Carl Shock won The Bad Man. Um, what was that song? I'm the Alpha Omega. <laughs> <laughs> oh, follow me. <laughs> and then there's um, Packer, who um, you guys would know him like he does obviously all of his disco, yeah. but like, man, when I was like 14 or 15 with my sister's fake ID, we'd go see like Greg Packer at like the barracks and everything. And like, yeah, it's funny. Now he's obviously ventured into disco, but I always just love his 90s drum and bass. It just like, it, I suppose it's like hell nostalgic for me and probably some of the listeners of this radio show. But yeah, Greg Packer's just like one of those hell nice dudes. It's always just like happy camper. And then Festa, also known as Benny Cuzzy. Um, Festa just fell off the face of the earth for 10 years. So if anyone's at home and bored, you could just like jump on Insty and look up Festa because he posts like the most hilarious videos ever. But his tune, Intergalactic, is my favorite song of all time. So that was the song that I was like headbanging to. And then the finally, the last one is my little friend, um, Brem, Bremel, who you will hate on say little, um, but basically <laughs> he, um, he, he's so funny on Instagram. So he like is known for having his headphones and he plugs them into the microphone jack and he talks into them and he MCs his own sets, but it's like the funniest thing you'll ever see. So that's his tune, that friendly fire. So I had him and his like little juvie mates over the other day and they were just playing me some of their tunes and like I have a lot of hope for like the perv um, drum and bass and like dubstep scene at the moment. There's like 17, 18, 19 year olds that are putting out like Skrillex type of, you know, production. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like blown away by that. Um, so yeah, that's the end of my TED talk. Fantastic. <laughs> it's awesome. Awesome to meet you finally. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, been connected with uh, most of you guys through Facebook, but it's great to meet you all in the flesh. And yeah, very, very impressed by all your DJing skills. It's not always the easiest place to come and mix in the studio, but it is uh, yeah, really, really, I'm, I'm looking forward to listening back. We've got a little bit of time because the people in the studio are a little bit late. So I would like to um, take a bit of time and chat to all our fantastic guests. Next up, the instigator, <laughs> Xtina, how are you? I'm all right. I'm good.